In life, one is seldom handed an opportunity to significantly impact the global community. However, in the summer of 2008, a very fortunate group of students from South Kitsap High School were handed such an opportunity. Thirteen students and four South Kitsap High School staff members were dispatched to the Dominican Republic as a part of the Computers for the World program. You may be familiar with this program. The same group of teachers took a number of students to Uganda in the summer of 2007 to complete a similar project. Our goal with this project is to integrate technology into the schools and via doing this we're using computers. So integrating computers into um, schools that would not have the accessibility or the funds to purchase these um, computers. Goodbyes were exchanged and in no time we were on our way to the Dominican Republic. I think that um, I'm really going to miss you in a day or three. As soon as we got off the plane we knew this country was in desperate need of our help. From the state of the streets and homes to the inadequate school conditions, it seemed as though it had been some time since these people had any sort of assistance. For the schools, um, some of them, like the one we're in today, is actually pretty nice um, for um, you know circumstances given. Um, there was another one that we went to yesterday that was really dirty in small cramped classrooms, and um, you know, but at least the kids are getting an education and at least they have somewhere to go. This is the first help we've received in almost 30 years. I want to give more to my students that they can improve, but my resources are limited. I want to improve their lives, but I can't. I don't have the resources. They lack even the basics every school in America seems to take for granted. We need space. We need, we need ample space. Materials for working, mobility. We need everything. We have only the basics. Despite the less than desirable conditions, we were able to wire the schools for networking. However, there was one minor setback. It was really too bad because uh, we didn't get our computers early enough to install them in schools. In fact, we got them the day before we left. It set us back a lot in the fact that the computers didn't show up, the ag supplies to teach the ag lessons didn't show up, we had other equipment on there um, for students at schools that didn't show up. When we looked at UPS and how that inhibited us, um, it, it just said it's a minor setback. It wasn't a huge setback, but it was a minor setback that we didn't get to connect a little bit more with the community. And so we didn't have that one-on-one -on -one interaction and having that computer being that median. Minor setbacks aside, we were still able to connect with the students. They helped us to get a first-hand look at their culture and we saw a few interesting differences. The way people drive on the roads, they're crazy people. I was expecting more of our own culture and they're actually really not the same. They're really run down and really in poverty. And in exchange for a first-hand look at their culture, we created a basis to help them better their community. So again, the goal was to provide the country with the tools necessary in order to gain a well-rounded education so that eventually the upcoming generation will have the skills needed in order to better their community. And save a few minor snags, we were able to do so. But how well did we accomplish the second goal? to open the eyes of students and staff of South Kitsap to a world much different than the one that they've come to know. I think even just, again, seeing the poverty and the people who live here and their living conditions was um, something that made me say, okay, I do want to try to make a difference. As far as the future is concerned, this trip has had a massive impact on what we will be able to do. The International Rotary is using this as an example and taking a look at this uh, project that how our communities are collaborating together to help, you know, impoverished or helping other communities as well. So we intend to go forward and continue supporting this amazing program because there is still so much to be done. Now I believe we can begin to hope for something that will help us do a better job. We have put in so much energy the last 30 years, therefore I believe we need to continue. We need to continue to solicit ourselves for outside help. With the help of programs like Computers for the World and trips like this one, the rest of the world may someday be able to use the tools that many of those in America take for granted. 
They will be able to better their community and in turn benefit the global community.